Welcome to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL, your go-to channel for unlocking the best signs to a longer, healthier life. I'm Professor Luigi Fontana, the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic of the University of Sydney. Today, we are going to discuss some new interesting findings from uh, an epidemiological study, uh, Harvard University uh, study involving more than 216,000 uh, men and women, suggesting that red meat intake, yes, red meat intake is associated with a higher risk of developing diabetes. Yes, up to 62% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes with an almost linear dose response pattern, as you can see in this uh, figure. I just want to remind uh, my listeners, my followers, that type 2 diabetes is a serious condition associated with a much higher risk of developing a heart attack, stroke, and dementia and is also the main cause of uh, kidney failure therefore leading to dialysis and kidney transplantation uh, diabetic ret retinopathy leading to potentially blindness uh, diabetic neuropathy and um, and then ulcers potentially leading to amputation of part of the limb um, Mm, and uh, uh, before you develop type 2 diabetes for many years, you have uh, insulin resistance and therefore compensatory hyperinsulinemia that is driving aging and uh, cancer. Okay, now let's go back to the study, to this new study. That is, of course, an epidemiological study. And as I always said, epidemiology uh, is not proving proving a cause-effect relationship, but yet this is a strong study by a credible group of scientists at Harvard uh, with 30 years of follow-up and multiple dietary assessments, so that's the strength. Um, and this study reaffirms previous findings uh, on the link between red meat consumption and type 2 diabetes, providing additional quantification and insights into temporal relationships. Now, in this study, comparing extreme intake quantiles revealed that uh, not only uh, uh, um, total red meat, but in particular processed red meat was linked with a 51% higher risk of type 2 diabetes and even unprocessed red meat was associated with a 40% uh, percent higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And what is interesting is these associations remain strong even after adjusting for, a B, for BMI, for, for body weight, uh, that in this study was responsible for approximately 50% of the diabetes risk attributed to red meat intake. Now, uh, uh, when the scientists, the researchers, did some continuous analysis, they found that each one serving per day, one serving per day uh, uh, increment in total red meat uh, was associated with a 1.28 times higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Uh, for example, when compared with people who consume less than, uh, let's say, a fifth of a serving of red meat per day, the risk of developing type 2 diabetes was uh, uh, 1.18 times higher among those who consume between 0.2 and 0.4 servings per day of red meat and almost two times higher in those who consume more than 1.4 servings of red meat per day. So most people in Western countries, US, Australia, Europe, they, eat, they consume 1.4 servings of uh, meat per day because they consume meat at uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. So it's a two times higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who consume less than uh, 0.2 uh, servings per day. 
Interestingly, in this study, higher physical activity levels did not mitigate the risk associated with red meat intake. On the contrary, those with high physical activity, they seem to have a higher risk. Now, the good news is that replacing total, meat, uh, total red meat with nuts and legumes uh, is a good, uh, are an excellent source of, of, of uh, uh, proteins, especially when combined with uh, whole grains uh, that provide all the essential amino acids, as I've already discussed in other videos, was associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. For example, substituting one serving per day of nuts and legumes resulted in a 30% lower risk, while replacing red meat with total dairy showed a 22% lower risk. Now, metabolomic studies added biological plausibility, revealing associations between red meat and 139, yes, almost 140 metabolites related to lipids, amino acids, and xenobiotics that are linked with an increased risk of type 2 diabetes uh, by consuming red meat. Uh, factors like uh, high saturated fat intake and tryptophan and brain chain amino acids, along with low polyunsaturated fatty acids, high heme iron and elevated glycine utilization were all identified as contributors to insulin resistance and increased diabetes risk in multiple other studies, not in this study, but in multiple other studies. We know that, one, as, as, as discussed in this, in, in this paper, probably 50% uh, or more of this association between red meat and uh, uh, the risk of diabetes is mediated by uh, adiposity, by the increase in adiposity, uh, obesity, overweight obesity. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and we know that, in, uh, for example, in, uh, in females and males, uh, both uh, uh, processed and unprocessed red meat consumption is the largest uh, positive uh, factor with uh, uh, weight gain uh, uh, over a four-year period only. So basically, consumption of meat is a major driver of obesity, uh, unlike many people professing the... the, 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 the Atkin, uh, South Beach, the high protein, uh, now high keto diet, uh, are, are, are suggesting uh, over time. You know, maybe yes, in the short term, you know, a high protein diet because, you know, people are eliminating carbs and so they are, they are in calorie restriction, they are losing weight, but in the long term, this mm, red meat consumption is associated with a higher risk of developing. Uh, obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and colon cancer, and many other chronic diseases. Um, so, uh, plant-based alternative meat consumption showed lower body weight compared to animal-based meat in a randomized trial. In summary, this epidemiological study that, as I said, is just uh, uh, showing associations and no cause-effect relationships However, with all the other uh, epidemiologicals and some randomized clinical trials are, and mechanistic studies are uh, strongly uh, suggesting, indicating that red meat consumption, both processed and unprocessed, is uh, uh, responsible, at least in part, for the epidemic of type 2 diabetes that is now becoming epidemic, I would say pandemic, with huge consequences on uh, healthcare uh, uh, sustainability. Thank you for listening. As always, this is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I am Luigi Fontana, professor of medicine, uh, scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA clinic and of the Health for Life uh, uh, clinical educational and research program and a clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney.